Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to my NBA 2K wishlist featuring the community. Nah, man. So basically what we're doing today is, guys, I put a tweet out over Twitter. If you're not following me on Twitter, you're missing out on some great stuff, man. I'm making a bunch of people a part of this video. They have a couple things that they want from 2K, and I have some of the same things that I would like for 2K to do to make the game better in the coming years. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be grabbing tweets from a tweet that I posted a few days ago. And... I'm basically going to be talking about those things, going over what I think should come from those tweets or if I'm on the same exact page as some of these people on Twitter. But let's hop into it, man. Make sure you guys like the video and make sure you share it at the end. All right. So Fuse Gaming is looking for the incorporation of skilled workouts, including cone drills, more defensive drills, suicides, etc. So what he really wants is a real NBA basketball field to practice, because if anybody has ever visited a team practice, they don't do most of the stuff that we do in 2K. The weight room and all that may be true, but when you're doing the drills for 2K, like when they tell you oh, run up and down the court 1v3 or 3v1 or 3-on-3, three three, like... They're not doing any of that. These dudes are running suicides. They're working on their dribbles. They're working on their free throws, working on their shots. A person might shoot like a hundred three pointers in a practice, you know, if he's not a pure shooter. A pure shooter might shoot 500 to a thousand in a practice. So I know for a fact that 2K definitely has to work on practice mode and defensive drills are definitely something that we need because a lot of people don't know how to play defense, bro. I'm tired of people playing off ball defense and getting cooked into my part, <laughs> but I do like cooking them though. <laughs> okay, so Ivan here wants to fix the dribble into charge animation lockup when you have a clear open lane. There's no way Isaiah Thomas should be able to push LeBron back. Now what he's saying is when you're driving to the rack, right, and a player just comes over to help out on defense it's no reason that that player is able to, to be able to stop you in your tracks but what 2k actually did was add that in there so if you do keep pushing the ball like that you're going to catch a charge animation so i'm guessing that that's the way that 2k has that okay well if a person is a good defender slash flopper against a person that's just trying to bully their way to the rack that person playing defense has a chance to play some good defense so i don't know if 2k is going to actually take that out i would like to not see that so much because we see that all the time man you know you'll have a clear lane and the dude just come out of left field stop you right in your track and you don't want to keep going because you know you're going to charge him. The only time that that actually works in your favor is when you're at my park because there is no offensive foul animations for charging. All right, so Goosey wants to know if you get a shoe deal, you should get a home away all-star and playoff shoe with commercials introducing them. Now, as far as we know, in the real NBA, players do this all the time. LeBron James, Steph Curry, like these guys create shoes all year round it may be one of their shoes that they're gonna have out for a couple months to a year but they do have different varieties of those shoes different colorways different style setups they may have some writing on them there's many different things that these nba players do to create shoes now i would love that i would love to be able to change into a colorway shoe but our only way to do that without you know hurting anything is to create a shoe and then wear that that's the only way that we can do it you have to manipulate the colors yourself 2k is not going to do it for you big thing here man anton king wants to know can we please invite non-players to your my court now this is something that i would love to have in nba 2k18 because imagine you can run 5v5s at your my court you know against like subscribers friends one click versus another click this is something that 2k has been needing ever since they introduced this my court now if you can invite non my players to your court you can play 5v5 you can have people sit and watch 3v3s and 4v4s or 1v1s even and man i made that guy fall bad but that's something that you can do man please let us invite more players to my court so coco wants to know can we please bring reggie miller and chris weber into the game now this is something that i have been talking about for years nba players just don't want to be in an nba video game or some players want a buku amount of money to use their likeness in a game or NBA 2K just doesn't want to reach out to these guys because they know from past game video games that have come out, these players have not been in those games. So I would love to see Reggie Miller and Chris Webber in the game as well as some other players. Like, does anybody remember when 2K was trying to get 
Charles Barkley and Scottie Pippen in their game, and it was taking a long time to get those guys in the game. That's that's what you have to deal with, man. You have to deal with those legal things, man. So I would love to see it, though. I would definitely love to see it. All right, so Black Kid Valley wants to know how you interact with media and players affect endorsements and fans, etc. Now, I could see that with media because if you answer in an angry tone or sarcastic or something like that, or you blow up, blow it off, or whatever the case may be, that should affect the way that endorsements and fans relate to you. But I believe that 2K should take it back to the basics. They should have four ways you can answer a question: uh, polite, sarcastic, angry, or just blow it off. Like don't even answer at all. And whatever you say during that interview, then that should just go into how the fans treat you or however players interact with you to give you things like or how endorsement deals come like, oh, we don't want to be endorsed by somebody that is not good with the media or whatever the case may be. Because 2K, all you do is you just play the game and endorsements come. Endorsements only happen because of a certain way you play the game, not how you answer off the court. All right, so Moselle wants to know a real post game show highlights and scores from other games. Now, I remember back a few years ago in 2K, they had a nice little post game or a time ticker of what the scores were in other games throughout the season. But this year, it's like 2K just took it all the way out. Um, the NBA does not matter to you in the other games that you play. All it is is about the game that you play. I would love a real post game where they talk about around the league opposed to just what you've done because remember when you come out of that game other scores are already tallied other stats are already tallied so why can't 2k use that information to build a real post game show about around the league what if the orlando magic that i was on this year in my career was about to be in first seed and they were able to talk about that because the first seed team actually lost and we're closing in on about you know one to two games back or something like that that would be a dope thing to add to the game this is a big thing right here by raw kme custom jump shots without having to jump through those dumb behind connection hoops man connections man they make the game a little crazy because you don't know what's going to happen throughout these connections you don't know what a, a teammate may give you you don't know what another basketball player will give you your gm the owner you don't know what they're going to give you so why not just make a custom shot jump shot creator from as soon as you come into my career it is called my career right isn't it your choice on what you want to have equipped to your player it's no reason that we shouldn't have custom jump shots as soon as we get into the game nobody wants to use random jump shots all the time nobody wants to use nba player jump shots all the time we want to use what works for us give us that option the biggest elephant in the room my career online now i'm going to tell you why it's a great option and a terrible option if you go into my career online you will have the opportunity to use your my player up against your friends family viewers subscribers anybody right but the the takeaway from that is we have to badge hunt in order to make our players better and in order to have my career online i would not want to use that my career online player in the my part in the pro-am because i won't be focusing on that player because that player won't will never be as fully developed as a person that you play with all the time because you're only playing your friends every other game that you're doing in that season is getting simulated nobody's going to play against the milwaukee bucks if somebody that is one of your friends is isn't on that team that's just how like online franchises and stuff go people sim games all the time people advance weeks because players may have been missing and don't play their games it's a it's a great idea but it has its drawback if you create my career online these players can't be used in my park and pro in that's how i feel okay guys so one of the biggest problems that we've been having with 2k in the recent years is archetypes should have a main and a secondary two-way players do exist and i totally agree with the dj right here man so basically if i have a playmaker i would love for my playmaker to be a playmaker and a sharpshooter defensively i'll worry about that i wouldn't want my guy to be a playmaker slash lockdown defender but two-way players do exist man Kawhi Leonard is a player that is a two-way player. Steph Curry, Russell Westbrook, LeBron James. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and say this, man. Almost every basketball player out there is a two-way player. They have to play offense and defense. 
that is what basketball is all about. You don't be out here seeing NFL players have to play offense and defense. They don't play on both sides of the ball. They're one-sided. But when it comes to the NBA, you have to get back on defense. You got to take your behind down there on offense and try to score a bucket. That's what it's all about, man. Now, let's switch gears and hop into free agency. So Shane says free agency teams should have to come and pitch why they want you to be on their team and try to negotiate for better money. Now, in recent years, 2K just throws in a random free agency loading screen and you choose what teams you want to go to and their interest is already you know relied on what the statistics are from the nba playoffs or whatever and how much interest they have in you from your position i would love for teams to call my phone and say hey we have a deal on the table what do you think about this deal and you really weigh all your options these teams don't just have a regular loading screen of statistics of how interested they're in are in you and then you just choose from them no that's not how the game goes you know what I'm saying? Teams have to reach out to you. Then you have to say, this is what I'm asking. And then we go from there. You know what I'm saying? It's never been the other way around. Come on, NBA 2K. All right. So we have a lot of information here from Kenneth, man. He wants to know, can you be able to pick your own agent, off-season branding, summer league, more endorsements, contract obligations, FIBA and Olympic and career? So we did have Olympic in the early stages of the prelude where you can play in the Olympics, but we didn't have it in NBA 2K17. We weren't able to pick our own agent from a list of agents. Off-season branding would be pretty big because what if they bring a summer league type of feel to it where you would have to get branded by some of these guys. But usually in brands, brands will be your brands in the off-season as well. Like Foot Locker, Nike, Gatorade. Like they're going to be your brands for the rest of your life or whatever the contract obligations are. You know, for like a five-year deal or whatever the case may be. Um, also, more endorsements. I don't know about more endorsements seeing as though they just have you going out to little different uh, venues and things like that. All the big brands already are in the NBA 2K17. It's only a few that aren't. You know, um, as far as contract obligations, contract obligations should work into the endorsements a little bit better. As well as usually in contract obligations, which are actual uh nba contract all it is is stay healthy and play the game show up to media events practices and team meetings and stuff like that it's not really too many other contract obligations that you really need to do all right so smack face wants to know can we please take out the animation of the hesitation towards the goal please 2k i am totally on the same page as smack face here bro please take out that stupid hesitation move because it's an auto animation you're not doing it yourself 2k is telling you you have to do it to slow down your momentum to get to the rack and and that happens to be one of the biggest reasons why those charge animations happen where a player is able to catch up to you and push you out the way come on 2k all right, so Constantine wants to know, can you allow us to put our logos on the clothing, shoes, and accessories, and please make Hall of Fame badges only attainable on Hall of Fame difficulty? I'm going to answer these two questions with the easiest thing ever. WWE 2K allows you to put logos on whatever you want. 2K, give it to us for my park, my career, and pro-am. Also, tattoos as well. And to attain Hall of Fame badges on Hall of Fame, that's too much of a stretch. If you want to attain badges only on Hall of Fame difficulty, you know how many games you're going to lose because of Hall of Fame? It's cheesy! It's freaking cheesy! Right, 2K, me and Drizzy are on the same page here, man. You have to improve the crowd atmospheres. You can't just put all white t-shirts on a whole bunch of AI and think that that's a better playoff experience with the crowd. We need the crowd to be going crazy. We need the crowd to be yelling, defense! I'm talking like rumbling the entire arena when there's clutch moments like big playoff free throws and big moments, dunks, ankle breakers, all of that, man. We need a better crowd, man. Come on, 2K. I know you guys can up the ante. I know you can do it. All right, so he's talking about my team in the first sentence, but I'm going to go ahead and say bring back create a legend in situation mode. That's some pretty dope ideas, but if you go into franchise mode and play on a player lock, you essentially can play create a legend. You can actually do that, but I know what you mean. You mean the actual mode, the loading screens, only really being able to play with that player and nobody else. I know what you mean. Bringing back MJ, the rookie MJ, playing Create a Legend with him. I understand all that. But when you said something about the situational moments, I love it. 
I love that idea. Just imagine being able to hit that Westbrook three-pointer from however many feet he did in that last game for that triple-double, dog. That was lit. Like, super-duper dumb lit. I would love to see that. I don't know how long it took us to get here, man, but cash out fan, somebody finally said it. Badge progression bar. We hunt for badges all year long without knowing the criteria. How many assists we have until we get a certain badge, how many blocks we have, how many rebounds are left. We need a badge progression bar, 2K. Please, we need a bar. Now, even if you only let us look up that bar when we're in the menus, that's totally fine. But at least we would know how many assists, steals, rebounds, shots, passes, whatever we need to a obtain a certain badge, man. 2K, please give us that progression bar. Also, that thing you said about my team, I don't play my team like that. I'm going to go ahead and skip that, bro. King Juice says pre-draft workouts. 2K, please give us that option, man. That would really be a really dope thing to add to the game, as well as it will help teams solidify our spots as their pick. What if we went in there and Joel and B and others say, yo, we really like the, your workout. We really like this guy. Hey, the teammates can actually have something to say in that regard to being picked as that number one pick in the draft. I would love that. You know, scoring 30 and 10 in college, that's cool and all, but not many got darn players score 30 and 10 to get a number one pick, 2K. I mean, I mean, I seen guys 20 and 5 get number one. So come on, man. We're, we're, you gotta you gotta give a take, man. Pre-draft workouts, let's make it happen. Okay, so Pretty Loves Pink says, design your own clothes in my part and new haircuts. Since we already went over clothing, I would love to see better haircuts in 2K. But how about a custom barber in 2K to actually do whatever you want? Mix and match different hairstyles that you guys have, different designs, different colors, like fate. Like what if a person wants to fade on one side and they don't want the other side faded. They want like a little Gumby or a Mohawk on the other. Like what if a person wants cornrows on one side and a shaved head on the other side? What if a person wants like long, lustrous hair on one side of their head and then the other side be faded with a line? Like, it's many different crazy things that people would love to do and it would make the community better as far as looking at those type of videos where people can just mess up their my player all the way or be one of the freshest my players out there with the cuts. Heat Nation said they should let you recruit my players in my career. If you've been playing NBA 2K since the beginning, there was a time where 2K allowed you to have people inside like your phone list or social media where you were able to recruit a little bit but i believe that 2k should definitely when it's free agent time you should have control a little bit of creative control and what free agents they go after who they call and you can hit them up on social media like hey bro come on over baby we doing big things baby we just run that ring i think you might be a good addition to the team see you there i would love to be a joel Embiid of my team when playing in my career i would love it dog straight love it all right guys so last but not least spurs texans fan wants to know about more solo challenges now when it comes to 2k and their challenge system they have like uh you make as many baskets or whatever the case may be where they have the season long challenges the career challenges or game challenges now i would love for 2k to say okay what if you go in this game you get five assists within the first quarter you get an extra little bit of vc what if you get 10 boards in a game if you're a, a, a rebounder that is coming up in the league like what if you average like eight rebounds and 2k allows you to try to average 10 rebounds because they're going to keep making you get 10 rebound challenges per game to make your season averages a little bit better i would love for those solo challenges to get a little bit more vc help us out with our attribute bars man to upgrade our players because 2k they only give you the general sense of what they think is attainable for vc and nothing more nothing less i would love that but I hope you guys enjoyed this wish list video. There's a lot more that we have to talk about. I'm going to be making my own personal wish list off of all the notes that I've written down. But remember, guys, I hope you've enjoyed. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you share this video with the masses, man. Tell everybody about this, man. Let them know, man. The community has a voice. We do have a voice. And we have to keep just shoving our voice into 2K's eardrum for them to listen to us, man. I'm going to holler at you guys in the next one. Peace.